Hey guys, what's going on? It's Honey Deluxe, and this is a Brie Pro video. Basically, Brie Pro videos are the ones about being a professional if you want to go into be a makeup artist, or as we they call, and we call in the industry, an MUA. So basically, I want to show you um, tips as far as storage and, storage and travel cases when it comes to being a makeup artist. I have three different types that I use. Um, some are more efficient than others, and then I want to go in detail into one by Shani Cosmetics. So if you're interested, please stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Hey everyone, I'm back, and these are my three um, cosmetic cases, or basically my travel cases that I use when I'm actually on location or traveling to do makeup for clients, i.e. mostly my friends. But again, these are the three cases. If you notice, I have a traditional train case, which is made by the company Caboodle. I have this bag right here, which is actually just a diaper bag. And I'll explain to you why I chose using a diaper bag. And then I have over here, which is Shani Cosmetics um, Rebel Series. It's their professional train case. They have several professional ones, the ones that have the um, legs with the lights. And this one... I thought was perfect because I don't need all necessarily need all the lights but Shani Cosmetics actually makes great travel cases and they're pretty 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 affordable juxtapose some of the other um, lines out there same thing you know the names of you know how brands are when it comes to their names but I'll get into more detail about that the pros and cons um, and the benefits of that as well as each of these cases so in a previous video before I had created um, basically a build-it-yourself makeup kit using specifically and only um, e.l.f. products. So right now, the only thing that's in there, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. The only thing that is in there are my e.l.f. eye products that I actually use on clients. So all the makeup that are in all these cases are not my personal makeup use. This is specifically for clients only. I never mix and match. If I see something that I own that I like, I'll go out and buy it just versus if I see something I've bought for one of my kits and I like it for my own personal use, I'll just go out and buy another one. You never want to mix um, your products with your um, client's products just for sanitary reasons. So, little tip there. So, it's a basic train case. Very simple and modest. You have the two tiers. I'll turn it this way you have the two tiers on each side and then of course the deep bin and well down here it's pretty deep you can get some good quality and good number of palettes in here um the pro with this one is that it's one container it's um you can have everything organized depending on how much you need this is perfect these train cases are absolutely perfect for like weddings. If you want to do a separate, I know some makeup artists are very particular, so they'll have like a go-to all about makeup case for any and everything. And then they have a separate one for weddings because the colors as well as the textures of the makeup is a little different. The only bad thing about it is that yes, it comes with the strap, but this thing, depending on how much product you have, and the weight of this, it becomes really frustrating and annoying. So the strap doesn't always, where's the strap? It isn't the most comfortable on your shoulders and you get tired of carrying it like this. So great for someone starting off, amazing if you wanna do something like this specifically for um, wedding makeup or bridal makeup, I would go with this. So the diaper bag. So the reason I chose a diaper bag is because I was looking online and some of the prices for like the makeup bags that they have was just a little too rich for my blood. And I'm just like, Ugh, I don't need a designer one. I don't need anything like that. I just need something that has several pockets and great room. A diaper bag. Think about it. Moms have to carry their whole lives plus their child's in there. So why not? So in here, I just have everything um separate it into like pencil cases an uh, inexpensive way to do this buy pencil cases these were a dollar at walgreens and then i just went and got some labels from staples so this is my concealer 
and down there I also have hand sanitizer. I always need hand sanitizer. This is, I believe, blush and bronzer. I see some wipes down there. And then I believe this is like primer and shimmer. So again, then I have like lipsticks. You can get, I just threw all my lip products down here. Also, I picked these up at Target. I did a video on how to make um, palettes. And this is another one. These were a dollar. They're in those dollar bins. So again, check out the video on how to make a palette. I will make a link for that as well. And then again, just lots of lots of little pockets on the side where bottles would go, where anything would go. This is probably by far my favorite, favorite, favorite kit. Oh yeah, and then there's a pocket in here, a little plastic pocket. So if you have stuff that has like gels, as you see, like a pencil probably got out. You could just keep everything in that one area. Again, great, great. This retailed from Target, of course, at about $45, $50. But it's very comfortable and it's probably the easiest to carry, especially if you're on the go. You could just grab it, have everything together. Great, great bag. Now last but not least, we're gonna get to the Shani Pro. So bear with me one second and we'll go into detail with that. Alright, this is the Shani Cosmetic Rebel Series Pro Rolling Makeup Case. So this is it. Um, it's dimensions I would approximately say are height 25 inches, length 14 and a half inches, and depth probably about 11 to 12 inches. So it is a great size. Come over this way. And it has, of course, the handle at the top and the um, roller handle. So this is perfect if you are a makeup artist that is doing huge shoots and on the go. So when you first open up the case, it has a mirror. This mirror can actually, it has um, straps. It can be taken out. So you can literally remove that, hand it to the client, let them get a look. Boom, right there, there you go. Up top in this first level, you have these sliding um, shelves and the holes are in there for like a blow dryer, curling wands, um, combs, brushes, flat irons, anything like that. So you can actually have this. This can actually be used as a functioning station. Now I know there are other cases that have with the lights and the um, lights, a larger mirror as well as um, plug outlets. This does not, but it's still great to know that it has um, spaces for those so your area isn't completely cluttered cluttered and at the top i just have foundations concealers and contour so that's the first level second level um opens up to these this one's gonna swing back i know what it is oh it didn't great um it opens up to two wings and there are brush holders on each side there's six on each side so there's 12. so just have a few brushes in here and then this middle part pulls out and it has of course like usual opens up to the tiers so it has um, four tiers in total on the top tiers they have the adjustable um, organizer so you can just lift them out as you see so you can adjust how big you want um, certain things in 
your um, how you ever you want it organized and then it has a deeper bend it's similar to a train case it just it comes in as a pull out form of it so that's the second part again great use of space lots and lots of compartments so you can really load this up just shut these tiers And then at the bottom, you have just like an open space where you can store whatever you like. So down here, I have um, another brush roll set. Um, the Shanty Kit also came with these three mesh bags. So they came with a large, medium, and a small. This is a medium one. The small I actually use for... Um, brushes in another kit and the large one actually uses my personal travel bag as well and then on the side it has more compartments to hold you can hold brushes but I think it's meant to hold like hair brushes combs any kind of styling utensils and then I have my um, my palettes that I've made as well as two of Shani's um, masterpiece collections the mini masterpiece which is actually focuses on face and skin perfection and then the masterpiece seven layers is larger and it's everything from different eyeshadows to concealer to lipstick to blush it is actually a really really great investment as well and the colors are really pigmented if you want me to review that please let me know but that is basically this whole empty space back here so let me go ahead and put everything back So, pros and cons of, of these cases. The pros of this is that it's everything all-inclusive. You can put everything in here. Makeup, styling tools, styling products, um, brushes, cleansers, whatever you need can all actually fit in this one kit. If you are... Um, Let's say you're someone that doesn't necessarily wear a lot of makeup, but do you have a lot and you want to keep your um, your dresser top clean if you don't have um, a vanity or use your dresser? This is perfect for if you want it out of the way and organize, this is the perfect case for you. This is absolutely perfect. Um, cons. Here are the cons. This thing is heavy. This thing is heavy and again, like the um, caboodle train case, it could be awkward trying to get to and from places. I bought it because it was a great deal online. And I was like, oh, well, this should be nice. Um, and also, think about it. You also have to keep in mind when you're traveling. So, this is going to cost you when you travel. Because you got your luggage. And now you have to pay for this additional piece, which is going to weigh as much as luggage does. This thing is pretty heavy especially as you begin to fill up products however it's still a great buy it's very durable and I have it in here it just became a part of the beauty section of my room so it's a great product I really really enjoy it and um, yeah that's about it so if you have any questions um, or any more, any more details about train cases, building makeup kits, um, what kit or what storage unit for a traveling makeup artist is best, please leave them in the comments below. Again, thank you all for watching and you all have a wonderful day.